Well, there's always a question about, uh, you know, can we predict productivity or not? Uh, and that's a very difficult thing to be able to predict. But what we do know is, at least based on empirical examples of looking at sectors across different geographies and different economies, we know what the enabling environment looks like. One of the things that you see as you look at those patterns of productivity, we know that technology is a big part of it. We know that anytime you've got competitive markets, it makes a big difference because competitive markets typically allow different companies of different types to compete with different techniques to see which ones lead to more productive output. We know that when you've got flexible uh, uh, labor regimes, it also makes a big difference. And we also know that if you've got uh, different kind of zoning laws and approaches to how you use land and how you use capital and so forth, th all of those make a big difference. So there's an interesting cocktail here uh, as a way to think about how do you get productivity growth. For policymakers, one of my personal big worries is that we are so focused on the near-term downturn that we actually lose sight of the long-term growth opportunities. And here, particularly focusing on cr continuing to provide the policy environment that encourages companies to be more productive, that encourages investments for long-term growth, and particularly avoids the risks of protectionism. Because if we start closing down economies, that's not going to allow us to increase scale and increase competitive performance, we are surely not going to be able to get the kind of productivity growth that the world could get had we a different environment. For some, productivity is a dirty word. It somehow suggests laying off people. But that's actually not the case. When you look at the years that productivity growth has been highest, it also corresponds to the years where job creation is highest. Governments and businesses should improve the quality of their dialogue they have together about what's it going to take to deliver productivity growth.